All right, welcome back to another video. And today we're working January 2022, paper two, question six. So let's go. So it says, at a track meet, a cylindrical container fitted with a pipe as shown in the diagram below is used to serve water athletes. The cylindrical container of radius 12 centimeter and the height 20 centimeter is completely filled with water and the pipe fitted at the bottom dispenses water into cone shaped cups the cone shaped cups have a radius of three centimeter and a height of eight centimeters so question eight says calculate the volume of water in the cylindrical container in liters and write your answer correct to two decimal places then they told us that 1000 centimeter cube is equal to one liters so first what we know formula for volume volume the general formula of volume is equal to a h and as i usually tell students it's easy to remember this one and then work from here because what we know is that the a which is the area in this case speaks to the cross-sectional area in this case it is a circle so that doesn't mean area is equal to pi r squared. So therefore, the volume is equal to pi, which pi r square, which represents the area of a circle. So pi r square being multiplied by h. So therefore, volume is equal to the question didn't tell us what the value for pi is. So we're just going to go ahead and use 3.142 multiply by 12 square, which is our radius, being multiplied by the height, which is 20 centimeter as given here. When we put this into our calculator, what we get is that volume, so we have 3.142 multiplied by 12 square, multiplied by 20, and that would give us 9,000 and 48.96 centimeter cube. So we found the volume in centimeter cube. So what we'll do next, the question require of us to give our answer in liter and it gave us a bit of information to say 1000 cm cube is equal to one liter. So therefore, what we're looking for is what then is 9,048.96 cm cube equal to in liters? So all we need to do is to divide this by a thousand, which is the same as basically cross multiplying in this case. And when you do that, what you'll get as your answer is 9.05 liters. Why? To two decimal places, the question asks us to correct our answer to two decimal places. So instead of writing 9.04896, we write our answer to two decimal places. So the cutoff point would have been at the four. The number that follows is greater than five. So we add one to the four, and that is how we got 9.05. 0.5 liters and that is our answer for the volume of water in the cylindrical container in liters. Part B now says water flows from the cylindrical container along the pipe in the cone shaped cups at a rate of 7.8 milliliter per second. And it says, calculate the time taken to fill one of the empty cone-shaped cups. Give your answer correct to the nearest second. And they gave us the formula in this case, which is very good for finding the volume of a cone, which is volume is equal to one third pi r square times h. Again, they didn't tell us what our pi value is. So you can use any one of the values attached to pi. So what we're going to say is volume is equal to one third multiply by pi which we're using as 3.142 multiply 
by radius and the radius was given here as three centimeters. So that is square multiplied by height and it gave us our height of eight centimeters. Now, what I want you to recall in this instance is that one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cube. And I'm going to prove it to you at the end because you're probably saying, oh my God, how do they expect us to remember so many things? So I'm going to prove to you that one milliliter is equal to one centimeter. So it will be good if in the future you can remember this out of your head. So when you put this in your calculator, you'll get your volume to be 75.408. I'm not going to put the unit here as yet, as if it is milliliter or centimeter cube. But for now, let us assume that it is centimeter cube. And I'm going to change this centimeter cube to liters, then from liter to milliliters. Now remember the question before told us that 1000 centimeter cube is equal to one liter. So therefore, what we want to know is, assuming this, we calculated it in centimeter cube, we're going to change it to liter. So 75.408 centimeter cube. To liters, it would be 75.408 divided by 1000. When you do that, what you'll get is 0 0.075408 liters. Now changing this, if you remember your mnemonic KH, so kick him down, man, don't commit murder. It means that if we're changing this from liters to milliliters, what we'll get is multiplying this 0 0.075408 by 1,000 because we're moving from a large unit to a smaller one. So we are dividing, we are multiplying, sorry. So what we'll get back is 75.408 milliliter. So therefore, because we divided here, then multiply here, it basically cancels out. And therefore, we got this back in milliliter. So we had assumed that this is centimeter cubed. So that's how we work it. So in the end, you realize that we got back 75.408 centimeter cube is the same as 75.408 milliliter. So it is. it would be very good if you can remember that one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cube. So now the question asks us, uh, let's go back, um, calculate the time taken to fill one of the empty cups. So one of the empty cups um, it contains 75.408 milliliter of water. So therefore, to find out how many, the time taken to fill this cup, what we'll do is 75.408 divided by 7.8 milliliter. And when you do that, what you'll get is 9.668 seconds, but it Asks us to correct our answer to the nearest second, which that will give us an estimate. So let me go for my estimate sign. Almost equal estimate, which is 10 seconds. And this will be our final answer. So it took 10 seconds roughly to fill one of the cone shaped cups. Part C now says, determine the number of empty cone-shaped cone cups in B that can be completely filled from the cylindrical container. Now, from I read the question, this question I definitely knew was coming. How many cups can we get from the big cylinder itself? So that question I definitely knew. And based on the fact that part A asks us to calculate the volume in the cylinder, part B asked us to calculate the volume in the cup. I knew it was going to ask us how many cups can we get from the cylinder. So therefore, in doing this one, what we can do is either divide the liters figure 
or you can go ahead and divide the centimeter cube figure. I'm going to divide the liters figure. So uh, the cylinder, it was 9.05 liters. And I'm dividing that by the liters from the cone since we worked it out in the question before, which was 0 0.075408. And when you do that, what we'll get is 120 cups. If you had done the same thing for the for the uh, centimeter cube, so let's go back our centimeter cube. For here, it was nine thousand and forty eight point nine six. So what you'd have got is nine thousand and forty eight point nine six centimeter cube being divided by this in centimeter cube was seventy five point four zero eight. So let's get our calculator. So 9048.96 divided by 75.408. Stay flat 120. So no matter what you get, 120 cup. So no matter which one you use, you just need to ensure that your units are the same. So a the empty cone, empty cone-shaped cups. So 120 empty cone-shaped cups can be filled from the cylindrical container. So thank you for joining us and we will see you in another video.